Royals leading the Astros four to three and the new pitcher is Brandon Maurer. Did you see this movie before? Yeah. Didn't end well for the guys in the light blue shirts. On Friday Correa looked at a 3 0 fastball for a strike and then hit 112 miles an hour the next pitch. And he goes deep to left field. He's done it again. Carlos Correa ties the game by hitting one into the Astros bullpen on a 3 1 pitch. We're dotted at four. Well, there you go. Maybe they didn't get the memo or see the replay, but that's uh, what Carlos does. He's yelling at the guys in the dugout, letting them know, hey, it's a whole new ball game. Beautiful thing from Carlos Correa loaded foot down recognition and then just release the barrel through the zone and that is a laser into that Astros bullpen. 410 foot line drive on our mattress from Supermo you get a good idea of the release point and how well it looked out of the hand. In a tie game the Astros have a guy at the plate who already has 22 runs batted in in the month of June. Batting with second and third and nobody out against the left-hander Tim Hill. There's a base hit into right field. Scoring is Guriel. Marisnik being held at third. Evan Gaddis another RBI and the Astros lead this game five to four. What a job by Evan, Evan Gaddis. There's a rip into left field and that's down for a hit. 6-4 Astros on the RBI single by Marwin Gonzalez. Marwin's fourth consecutive hit as a right-hand hitter. He does hit one sharply right at somebody. Bregman to Altuve. Altuve jumps and makes the throw. And the Astros finish this road trip off with a perfect 10. A double play to end the game. And the Astros go 10-0 on the road trip. Just the fifth time. A team has gone 10-0 or better.